Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ivan and I'm a sales engineer at The Things Industries and in this video I'm going to show how to set up a Tiktelic gateway uh, to be used with the Tiktelic gateway management server, Tiktelic OAM, um, to be able to control it, to get logs, to send some commands and so on and so forth. So let's begin. Um, so on my screen I have uh, two terminals. In one of them I will SSH into a Tiktelic Kona micro that I have set up in my local network. Um, and with this, let's go to the Tiktelic uh, OAM website. So this is uh, the, the web interface that you're going to access. And um, here you just log in. Um, and you're presented with such a such a UI. So there are a few things to take a look at here before we proceed with setting up the gateway. So uh, there is the users management pane where um, there are all the users that you have in uh, your uh, tenant of the OAM. You can uh, manage the, uh, the rights of the users just uh, as usual. And most importantly, you have the gateway groups. So uh, this is something, um, the groups of gateways is the entity that's uh, used to um, maybe set up settings and um, group the gateways by location or by any other mean that you prefer. But the, the thing is that you can apply some settings to a, a group of gateways or you can send a command to a group of gateways. So this is a very nice feature. I have the gateway group for myself set up here and for now it's empty. So here we can see uh, that in the gateway group we can have a configuration that will be applied to all the gateways in the group that we can create here, but um, this we will uh, look at later. We can set up some alarm rules again that will apply to all the gateways uh, in this group and we can add triggers. Uh, based on the event that's happening to the gateways in this group. So it's not connected, it's fault, some certain event or something like this. Uh, as well as notifications uh, that you can set up via email or uh, via SMS message. So this is a very nice feature that you can get notified if your gateway is down or something uh, is happening within this group. We can also manage the software of all the gateways in the group, but now we don't have any gateways, so we will not, not look into that. Uh, we will go to Manage Gateways button to um, go into this group. And yes, so let's begin with adding a gateway. Uh, we fill it in. I will name it uh, Kona Micro. Uh, one so the gateway ID is the gateway AUI that uh, your gateway has for this uh, well you can do this either through Kona uh, field tool or through SSH or through serial monitor I'm using SSH now so we'll go to etc default um, and we will uh, look at config.json where the information is stored. So for me, this is the gateway EUI. Mm. I'll put it here. Uh, the model is micro EU in my case. Uh, I don't want it to be public and I want to enable logging. Uh, there's some additional. So when you choose the model, the information such as frequency band and all the other fields are pre-filled based on the model that you've chosen. Um, so with this I will add my gateway, but it's not connected just yet because the connection to um, this OEM uh, with the gateway is happening through MQTT, so we need to set that up. So for this, uh, the software on the gateway should already be updated to the latest version and the MQTT bridge needs to be installed according to the instruction. Um, but assuming that uh, this is already installed, uh, we will configure the uh, gateway bridge. So for this, there are uh, two files. Um, 
first of all we will look into uh, the file called tiktelic uh, bridge.toml so here this is the configuration of the various uh, yeah the MQTT bridge and for what it can be used so it can be used for several things so if we scroll at the very end at the very end um, we can see which configurations it includes and it inclu can include the network server so .ns.toml and the configuration for oam.toml so for our uh, gateway management system it's very important that only one of these is enabled so if you're using the TTI network server and the OEM from Tiktelic you should comment out the line which includes the configuration for the network server then only one of these configurations will be included so for me this is already commented out but make sure it's commented out um, and then we will look into uh, this OEM file uh, so this uh, includes configurations for for uh, talking to the OEM so the last two, so first the URL, uh, this is the one um, which your gateway should be talking to. So in my case, it is the, the, the one, the gateway OEM tiktelic.com. And uh, here we have the credentials for um, MQTT. So you can change them, you can set them up as you want. Maybe they're already pre-configured, but they're contained here. So when you're adding the gateway, uh, when you go, the next step is to manage credentials and uh, you have the username and password fields so this is where you should put in the credentials from this configuration file um, this is what I'm going to do yeah so um, at this point yeah the gateway is still not connected the credentials are set up um, let's see if it does connect no it's not so we've set up the uh, everything correctly on the OEM and on the gateway side so now we need to restart the MQTT bridge um, on the gateway so with uh, for this we're using the command monet uh, restart um, MQTT bridge So we have restarted the MQTT bridge uh, service on the gateway and now yeah now we see that the gateway is connected so it has reinitiated the authentication and it has the correct credentials so we're good to go so now we have this gateway online we can go to the menu and see what can we get um, so first things first we can look at uh, the gateway information the gateway info tab here and it will give us all the information, the serial number, the IP address that it currently has, um, and the model name. Um, then, um, yeah, so here you can also see all the other configurations, the radio configurations. Um, and for Kana Micro, you can use Spectral Scan, uh, not the Spectrum Analyzer, so it's only on, on Kana uh, Mega. So we can start a spectral scan it will show us the um, signal strengths across the channels of the, that the gateway has the eight channels that it has um, but yeah so all these uh, the the apart from the spectral scan i believe the, the information is the same information that you would get through a uh, kona field tool but in a web interface and um, more versatile um, so yeah, it will take some time. I will not go into that great detail with all the features, but just to have an idea, we can see uh, the the signal power over the uh, the channels that the gateway covers. Um, so yeah, we can see some radio statistics uh, of the packets uh, received, uh, packets transmitted. Um, so. Uh, let's go over to the more uh, interesting feature. So the location, you can set this up to have a better idea uh, where the gateway is located. For this, you would need to press the, this button and put in the latitude and longitude. So the events, this is, uh, this is the alarms that uh, the gateway has uh, produced due to uh, several 
uh, reasons that it can be, and these are the alarms that can be caught um, uh, that I showed before in the gateway group, and uh, the notifications for these ones can be set. So you can see that it can be high temperature, low battery, shutdown, whatnot. Now, um, the configuration tab is also uh, very convenient because you can uh, look at the general configuration the gateway has, including, uh, so yeah, if we, if we as I said, you can use the group configuration, but if you want to configure uh, the contents per uh, gateway, yeah, so we can see this is the configuration that's in there. This is exactly the same as I just read in, uh, from the SSH. So we can uh, reconfigure the network server that the gateway is talking to right from here. So it has nothing to do with the OEM connection. Even if I put the server address that, and it will not be successful in establishing connection with the network, the, with the LNS, I would still have access to uh, this configuration through the OEM. Um, also the upgrade server's information. Um, another uh, useful feature is the commands. So here we can send several commands to including reboot, getting the public key, establishing the reverse SSH, um, executing some arbitrary script or getting the GPS coordinates, but GPS is not available for the micro version. But still, so to test this, we can just um, run a ping command, I don't know, for 10 packets uh, for 8888 and um, we will see that it actually communicates. So if I were to reboot the gateway now, I will not do this because it takes some time, but um, uh, we could see, yeah, so it, we received the response that we've sent 10, received 10 packets. Reboot can also be done, um, so yeah. And we can also uh, look at the back backups that we have for the gateway, so if we have some, we can roll uh, roll back, roll the gateway back to the backup that we made at some time in case of some failure, and we can create a backup from the current uh, state. We can set up firewall rules uh, based on the protocols, based on the addresses. So, so just a normal um, normal firewall setup, um, and we can manage the software. So we can read the status of the software that's currently on the gateway we can read the packets that can be upgraded so as i just installed the latest software um, nothing is upgradable at this moment but i can see that the packages that can be installed on the gateway the additional packages from tectelic mm, yeah so and they can be installed directly from here uh, again this this uh, functionality is also present in the kona fuel tool Okay, so we can get some information about the wireless modem. Um, so all the data, all the serial numbers um, and uh, software versions. Uh, we can get the, the wireless area network information, but now um, since I believe this is not uh, this, the setting, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, so we have the ethernet co uh, we have the Ethernet and cellular. We can we can um, uh, select which one is the preferred and which one is the fallback, which is also very convenient. Um, and we can also uh, initiate the file transfers. We can update uh, and upload the configurations or any other files that we might need. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much everything that is worth mentioning about the Tiktelic uh, OEM for gateways. So of course, we, you can also use it with Micro, with Mega, with other models of uh, Tiktelic gateways if you have the MQTT bridge installed. So before doing this, make sure that you have the, right, the latest right software installed and um, you will be able to manage your gateways from this uh, beautiful web inter interface. Thank you very much and I hope uh, this was helpful. Goodbye.